Anytime I can make dinner in one pot, I am all for it. And let's be real, I do not like doing dishes. Hey y'all, I'm Valerie and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm sharing five new to me one pot dinner recipes. So hopefully you'll find a new recipe for you and your family to enjoy. Okay y'all, let's get started. This first one is a one pot chicken and rice. In a large skillet, I added two tablespoons of butter I let that melt down, then I added in one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken, and I just cut that into bite-sized pieces. I sprinkled that chicken with about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. By the way, I have my heat set to about medium-high here. And feel free to season this chicken however you like. I did add some salt and some Badia Complete. That Badia Complete is just an all-purpose seasoning, and it has a little bit of everything in there. And I let that chicken cook until it was cooked through. Then I removed it to a separate plate to set aside. And I did not clean my pan out. I just left it like it was. That's going to give this chicken and rice a little extra flavor. Next, I added in a couple teaspoons of minced garlic. I just stirred that around and let it cook for about a minute or so. Then you're going to add in one cup of uncooked long grain white rice followed by two and a half cups of chicken broth. I gave that a little stir, and then I brought this mixture to a bowl. And once it comes to a bowl, you're gonna reduce the heat to medium low, cover it, and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. You'll know it's done when that rice is tender and it's soaked up all of that liquid. I was supposed to add onion powder earlier and I forgot, so I'm just adding in half a teaspoon of onion powder and a little pepper. And to finish this up, I added one third cup of grated Parmesan cheese and three fourths cup of heavy cream. And while I'm thinking about it, if you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel and it lets me know you wanna see more videos like this. And after you get that Parmesan cheese and heavy cream in there, you can go ahead and add back in that cooked chicken from earlier and give it all a really good stir. And I'm telling you, that is all there is to it. This dinner came together in less than 30 minutes. I threw a bag of steamable broccoli in the microwave to serve along with it, and then this meal was ready to serve. We were all really surprised about this one. I mean, I figured it would be good, but it was absolutely delicious. And my husband's already asking me to make this one again. This cheesy taco soup was so good. And Aunt B, if you're watching, this is the one you had a fit over. I'm starting out by browning up one and a half pounds of ground beef in a large pot. I just broke that up and let it cook until it was completely cooked through. Then I used a paper towel to remove that grease. The recipe called for one can of black beans and one can of pinto beans, both drained and rinsed. But we prefer the pintos, so I just did two cans of those. You're also gonna add one can of drained whole kernel corn and a 16 ounce jar of salsa. My jar was a little bigger, so I just estimated about 16 ounces of that. Now I'm adding a 16 ounce jar of the salsa con queso cheese dip. I'm using the Great Value brand, but just use your favorite Mexican queso dip here. Then you're going to sprinkle in one packet of taco seasoning. I'm using the reduced sodium only because that's what I had on hand. And you're also going to add one packet of ranch seasoning mix. And you're going to add three cups of beef broth. The recipe called for unsalted, but I use that better than bouillon, which is the regular, and it turned out just fine. Now give all that a really good stir. Then you're gonna turn the heat up and bring this mixture to a bowl. After it comes to a bowl, you're gonna reduce the heat to a simmer and let it sit here and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then this soup is ready to serve. This is a perfect meal for those busy days when you need something quick and easy. And I just topped ours with a little sour cream and shredded cheddar cheese. 
This was so good. Actually, since I'm home with my sister and she loved it and she wanted the recipe. So Aunt B, here it is. And she don't like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen making dinner, so this will be perfect for her. This Marry Me Chicken Tortellini, I found it on TikTok, and it turned out to be a new family favorite. I'm starting out by making a flour mixture for the chicken. In a large bowl, I added one half cup of flour. Now we're gonna do some seasonings, and I added one half teaspoon each of salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic powder. Now give that a quick little stir. I'm using two large chicken breasts, and I did cut those into bite-sized pieces. I added it right into the bowl there, and then I tossed it around until all that chicken was completely covered in that flour. You could also do this in a large, like gallon-sized Ziploc bag and shake it all up. That would work fine too. After you get this all mixed together, we're gonna take it over to the stove top so we can cook it on up. I've got a large skillet here with two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil. I turned that heat to medium and then I started to add in all those chicken pieces. I cooked them for about four or five minutes on each side until they were golden brown. Then you're gonna remove them to a separate plate and set them aside. Now to that skillet, I'm adding two tablespoons of minced garlic and one third cup of sun-dried tomatoes. And I drained mine and diced them into small pieces. Now we're adding in one cup of chicken broth, one cup of heavy cream, and one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You're also gonna add half a teaspoon each of oregano and thyme. Now you're gonna stir that and bring this mixture to a simmer. Once it comes to a simmer, we can go ahead and add in the rest. This wasn't in the recipe, but I had some spinach on hand, so I went ahead and threw in a couple handfuls. I'm also adding a 19 ounce bag of frozen cheese tortellini. And I did let mine thaw out for just a little bit before I was ready to use it. Now you're gonna stir it and make sure all that tortellini is completely submerged in that liquid. I covered it and let it cook for just a few minutes until that tortellini was tender. When that's done, you can go ahead and add back in that chicken we cooked up in the beginning. I stirred it all together and then that sauce seemed a little thin to me, so I decided to add in a cornstarch slurry. I did one tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. I stirred it until all the lumps were gone and then added it right on into the skillet there. Stir it all together and then let it continue to cook until that sauce is thickened to the way you like it. And it only took a few minutes. By the way, if you're new, I would really love to have you here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you get notified of all my future videos. This dinner was amazing. We had no leftovers. We destroyed it. In fact, next time I make this, I'm really gonna have to double the recipe. And if you don't like spinach, you don't have to add any in. I just had some in the refrigerator that I needed to use up. But I love the spinach in here, so next time I think I'm actually gonna add a little extra. This next one is a one pot marinara pasta. In a large skillet, I added one pound of lean ground beef, but you could also do ground turkey with this. I seasoned it with garlic powder, onion powder, and a teaspoon of salt. But you can add any seasonings mm -hmm. you like here. Just season it like you would season spaghetti. I just broke that up and let it cook until that ground beef was completely cooked through. Then I used a paper towel to get rid of that grease. Next, I added a couple teaspoons of minced garlic. I stirred that around and let it cook until that garlic became fragrant. That only took about 30 seconds. Now I'm adding in a can of Italian style petite diced tomatoes, and I did not drain those. Then add in a 25 ounce jar of your favorite marinara sauce, followed by two and a half cups of water. 
and I poured a tiny bit of that water in my jar there and I shook it up really good just to make sure I got all that sauce out. Now you're going to add in 12 ounces of your favorite pasta. I'm using rotini, but you could also use the rigatoni or even penne. Now you're just going to stir it and make sure all that pasta is completely covered in that sauce. I brought all this to a bowl and then reduced it to a simmer. And you do want to stir this occasionally just to make sure that pasta doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And you're just going to let it cook until that pasta is tender. It should only take about 15 minutes. Now to finish this off, I'm sprinkling in about one third of a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Then you're going to stir it together and let it continue to cook until that cheese is melted. This was so easy to make. It came together fast. And it's perfect to make on those nights when, you know, you want to get dinner on the table quick. And I kept this simple and served it alongside garlic bread and a side salad. And this is one that I'll definitely be making again and again. By the way, y'all stay tuned because I got potluck recipes and air fryer recipes coming this week. I seen this one pot Cajun chicken and veggies and I knew I had to try it. In a large skillet. I added a tablespoon of oil along with one pound of boneless skinless chicken that I cut into bite sized pieces. You can season this up however you like, but I did about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, and about a tablespoon of this Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. The recipe called for two tablespoons of that, but I wasn't real sure if I wanted it that spicy. So one tablespoon turned out to be perfect. I just stirred this around and sauteed that chicken until it was cooked through. Then you can go ahead and remove it to a separate plate and set it aside. Now to that skillet, I added half of an onion sliced. We like our onions very, very tender, so I kind of gave them a head start here. I let them cook for a few minutes until they started to soften up a bit. Then I started to add in the rest of the veggies. I sliced up two zucchini and I had one crown of broccoli that I cut all the florets off and cut those into bite sized pieces. I also added one diced red bell pepper and one diced orange bell pepper. And I just sauteed all that until those veggies were tender to the way we like them. I wanted to add a little more seasoning to this so I sprinkled over a little more of that Cajun seasoning. I need to do some summer sides for y'all too, so you'll have to let me know in the comments below what's your favorite summer vegetable. And when those veggies are done to the way you like them, you can go ahead and add back in that cooked chicken. You know what? I think some sliced kielbasa would be really good in this too. I think I'll try that next time. This was so easy to make and actually the hardest part of all of it was cutting the veggies, which you could totally do the day before or the morning of. And then when dinner time comes, you can cook up the chicken, toss the veggies in there, and then this is ready to eat. It was so good. Definitely something I'm going to be making all summer long. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more easy recipes and I will see you in the next one.